Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall Murphy here. Today's Thursday, May 19th, 2022 AD. I have a glass of water here. Not bad. Could be better, could be worse. It's just water. Just got it out of the tap a few minutes ago. Because I also have a pH meter tester. So let's open this puppy up and see how good my drinking water actually is. Okay, so it comes with pH buffer powder, pH 9.18. Same thing with pH 6.86 and pH 4.0. So I assume that's some kind of test to make sure it's, you know, it's read accurate I assume but it says pH meter range 0 0.00 to 14.0 that's what's on that thing right there all right so let's um, all right so yeah that's what that is all right so we've got Calibration, uh, calibration chart. Okay, now I went online and I came up with these two charts that I found online. There's this one, and then there's this one. So it tells you, you know, for example, if you got neutral pH, acidic pH, alkaline pH, and then uh, you know where, where it should be or where certain things should be again I don't fully understand it but let's let's just give it a go and before we get going um, here's what it looks like got a little peely peel that off so yeah, on off. So the battery's internal. Um. Okay. All right, so let's take it in the water and see what happens. It says, oh, it's going back and forth. 8.01. Okay, it's, it's, uh, it's counting down or something. It looks like it's counting down. Seven six, seven five, seven four, seven three. Okay, seven point seven one, six not point six. It keeps counting down, so I don't know if that's the fact that it's still not. I don't know. I'll have to let's read the instructions. Remove the protective cap and protective film on the screen. First, rinse the electrode with distilled water and dry it with a filter paper. Press the on key. Immerse the. Cannot be over the immersion line. Over the immersion line. Okay, so the water I have in this cup, it's approximately, it keeps going back and forth between 7.5 and 4 and 7.55. So if we look at this chart here, optimum pH for human blood, well, it's 7.0, so 7.5 would be, um, 
So we're now this doesn't really tell me. Okay, so pure water. So we're in the neutral pH range. Okay, so let's let's look at this chart here. Again, I pulled this off the internet. So we're 7.5, so we're about half, here's 8 and here's 7, so we're like right in the middle here. And according to that, we're neutral pH, so that's good, I guess. Um, so um, back to zero when you're done. When you pull it out, it's back to zero. So I'm going to dry it off here. But, uh, so it's good to know <laughs> my water's not too bad. Uh, it's a nice little little kit here, and uh, got a nice little case. It's not bad. It's not the best case in the world, but it's it's not bad. And then if you want to really calibrate it super good, you you've got these little test calibrations here to do that with. I'm not going to mess with that right now. So overall, thumbs up. Very nice. Um, it's, kind of, it's probably one of those little small batteries on the inside. But, uh, I don't know. I'll read the instructions more. But first impressions are very nice. So until next time, I'm Randall and Bruce. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.